Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Lily and today I will be doing a quick unboxing, assembly and first impressions of the Wahoo Kicker Roller. Out of the box is the IC adapter, owner's manual and the roller, which comes in two parts. So we got the tire gripper and the front wheel block as part of the front unit and the flywheel with the dual roller design in the rear. The two parts are held together with the clamping mechanism which allows the user to slide the roller to match the size of their wheelbase. Speaking of wheelbases, the kicker roller is designed to fit most rock bikes with a wheelbase between 915mm and 1100mm. The kicker roller weighs in at approximately 22.6kg and supports a maximum rider weight of about 113kg. All of it took me only 15 minutes to put it all together. Please note that the kicker roller is not compatible with the kicker clamp. The Wahoo kicker roller currently retails for 1200 Australian dollars or 799 USD. Setting up is very simple. Open up the Wahoo app and pair the Wahoo kicker roller with your power meter and you're good to go. You will only need to do this once. Some of the things that I really like about the Wahoo Kicker Roller is that it is so quick and easy to set up your bike on the Kicker Roller. I love the fact that I don't have to remove the rear wheel every time I'm switching from outdoor to indoor riding. The Kicker Roller is compatible with most bikes. Households with multiple users can share one kicker roller without worrying about changing hops and consist. It is so convenient. I have found that the riding experience has been very smooth, possibly due to the subtle movement in the rear. It is also a lot more forgiving especially for new riders like myself, especially when riding in urge mode in Swift. The weaknesses of the Wahoo Kicker Roller are that there's potential for your rear tire to get worn out from extended use. You will need a power meter if you want to use the Kicker Roller with apps like Sweeps or Trainer Road. Some might find the Kicker Roller quite noisy. Personally, I did not find it noticeable with music in the background. Finally, you may have noticed some black residue from where the roller makes contact with the tire. However, it is quite easy to clean off. So if you're new to the world of smart trainers, you already own a power meter, and you dislike the idea of mounting and dismounting your bike onto a direct drive trainer every time you're switching from outdoor to indoor riding, the Wahoo Kicker Roller is for you. Please leave a like if you've enjoyed this video. 
Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.